Hey guys, Ewan here, and in this video, first, before we talk about the Arnold Classic Ohio, which is happening in 11 weeks, we're gonna talk about the MPC Nationals that is happening right now, and this is the tip of amateur bodybuilding. Many would disagree with that, but I think this proves the point, this show, these competitors. Look, a couple of years ago, IBB was divided into two separate federations. Jim Mannion took over the American part and Rafael Santoja took over the European part. So in Europe, we have amateur division, which is IBB, and also professional IBB Elite Pro. In America, you have NPC and you also have IBB Pro League. The European IFBB, so the Amateur Federation, he has a 75-year-old tradition. The IFBB World Championships is a 75-year-old competition. And that is considered the top of amateur bodybuilding. MPC, National Physique Committee or National Physique Committee Worldwide, is not really that old, but right now that's the precursor to IFBB Pro League. And IBB Pro League is the Mr. Olympia, which is the biggest tradition for professional bodybuilding. IBB Elite Pro is nothing compared to, to Mr. Olympia, and I don't know if you can compare with MPC, actually, at this level, the, the MPC Nationals, for example. So, MPC Nationals, in my opinion, is the most competitive amateur uh, bodybuilding federation. And here you can see the probably the winner of the heavyweight, which is Justin Shire. And uh, he's probably, in my opinion, at least the way I see it, he's probably going to win the overall. So I'm expecting this guy to win the IBB Pro card. He's coached by Matt Jensen. And lately it seems like Matt Jensen is probably one of the best coaches. He always hits the mark with every competitor. He always picks these guys perfectly. Right here he did that. Uh, by the way, Justin Shire, he's great, but his back is not really that good, especially his lower lats. So this is why, let me show you, this is why he's posing this way. Uh, to, to shorten his lats, to make them thicker, he's uh, making his glutes pop up a little. Uh, overall, he's a great bodybuilder, I mean, he's gonna be a great pro, I'm sure he's gonna turn pro, if not, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen this show. I don't think, I don't think Carlos Thomas is going to beat him, even though this guy is bigger, he's super heavyweights, he didn't really bring that kind of conditioning, and I don't think he has the genetics like Justin Shire, his legs are absolutely <laughs> ridiculous, and overall, he's a massive dude, but structurally, I feel like he's in a disadvantage. I feel like Justin Shire is overall more complete and that he's going to end up victorious. Anything is possible, really. I mean, I wasn't there to see it uh, in person, but based on the photos and the videos that I saw, it seems like Justin Shire is the best bodybuilder in that show right now. He has the best conditioning, the best polish, he picked perfectly. Uh, Carlos Thomas is bigger, he's more massive, but he doesn't have this kind of flow. He doesn't have this crazy structure. So I think this guy is going to win the MPC Nationals overall. What do you guys think? Do you think he's going to win it or is it going to be somebody else? Maybe maybe the other bodybuilders from the from the light heavyweights? I don't know. But I'm thinking it's between these two guys and I think, uh, I think Justin Shire is winning it. All right, so as I said, Arnold Classic is in 11 weeks and Brandon Curry is doing it. A former Arnold Classic champion... 2019 Mr. Olympia champion and uh, the runner-up last two years right behind Big Ramy. He is doing the Arnold Classic. He is the favorite to win it. He posted this video of himself uh, doing some shoulder training and he is training these shoulders like a maniac. I mean, you can watch this video. He is really killing it. Especially if you consider the size of these dumbbells. These are not light dumbbells. These are pretty heavy. So he's apparently very strong as well. Anyways, he looks great. Who cares how strong he is? He looks great. Uh, you can see that he is in a great conditioning right now. But you guys know that his problem was never conditioning. He can get conditioned, no problem. That, that's easy for him. What he cannot do is bring up the leg size and bring them full and with conditioning. So that's the, that's the problem. He cannot really bring the separations, deep cuts in the, in the glutes, in the hamstrings, in the quads while staying full he can choose he can come conditioned but with much smaller legs or full with less separation but with bigger legs still the legs are not massive enough they definitely lack muscle he wouldn't have to worry about them being full if they were big enough but they are definitely not a match to his upper body 
this uh, this proportion this asymmetry isn't uh, that big of a problem to actually make him lose the Arnold Classic uh, he's always the runner-up at the Mr. Olympia he won the Mr. Olympia against guys with better balance with better symmetry with better uh, better proportion uh, with guys with huge legs so yeah he has that flaw but other than that not much else he's very very complete and as I said, he's the favorite to win it. You guys know that I am betting on Brett Wilkin, but that's a bold statement to say that he's going to win it. The favorite, the odds are definitely in Brandon Curry's corner, no doubt about that. And based on this video, he still is the man to beat. Everybody is looking at this and, and thinking, what do I need to do to beat this? Because he, he, he is huge, he is conditioned, he has this crazy kind of shape. So the only problem is that uh, this proportion, the asymmetry, but is it bad enough for anybody to take him out? I really doubt that. Look at his back. Look how wide his back is. Crazy V taper on Brandon Curry. And I think, yeah, if I was a batting man, if I had to put my money on somebody, I would put it on Brandon. But I'm hoping for Brett Filkin to make his uh, mark this year. But Brandon looks good. So it's going to be tough. This guy is probably winning it. All right, next we have another open or a classic bodybuilder. I'm not even sure yet, but in case you guys are wondering as well, here is your answer. So Patrick posted his photo, him just flexing his biceps, and he says, only thing classic is the waist. 22s for 22-inch waist. Uh, only place I'm going is top, and he's uh, putting an angry emoji. So what he's saying here is basically... He is not a classic physique competitor. The only thing that is classic on him is the waist. Everything else is freaky, like a bodybuilder. At least that's what he thinks. And he says the only place I'm going is top. So uh, he's basically telling us he wants to add more mass. He doesn't want to go down in weight. He wants to go to the top. He talked about that before. He wants to, um, to go to the ultimate division, which is bodybuilding. He doesn't want to go back to the classic and he's mad that people are thinking that he's, he's that he's going to go to the classic. He talked about it, but he wasn't really serious. It seems maybe he was considering it, but he decided not to do it. Everybody would like to see him in classic. He probably has a good chance of actually being in the top five, top three at the classic physique. Maybe not, though. I'm not sure, but uh, I would definitely love to see him over there, and I'm sure you guys would as well. And uh, <laughs> I think he doesn't like that. I think he doesn't want us to want him to go back to classic physique, to go down, you know, in a division that is smaller, to lose weight because he's not big enough for, for bodybuilding. He needs to add more mass if he wants to do bodybuilding comparatively, if he wants to be at the top. But right now, he's not on that level, he is not that big. And it seems like uh, him switching to classic, it's, it seems like it's not going to happen based on this post, no. No, probably not. Unfortunately, very unfortunately, but yeah, here's your answer. Not doing classic, this guy, Patrick Moore. Maybe Nick Walker should do it. Maybe when he realizes that he's growing too fast, he's going to downsize and do the classic, he would do so bad. This guy is definitely meant for bodybuilding. He's a mutant. That's his nickname, and it suits him well. Uh, he is a freak, and this is what it takes, you know, to be a good open bodybuilder. So he was top 5 at the Mr. Olympia, he won the Arnold Classic. In order for Patrick Moore, for example, to do that, he, he is not supposed to be like this. He, he cannot look like this. He doesn't have those freaky genetics. He can go with the, the lines, like Sean Roden, for example, may he rest in peace, did. Or Cedric McMillan. That's what Patrick should go with. But this guy right here, he's taking a maximum advantage of his freakiness. The freak factor on Nick Walker is just absolutely ridiculous. And this is him right now. This is him right now. Yeah, this is recent, as you can see. It's his first workout in, back in Jersey. So, yes, it's recent. He's 285. Last time I heard him talk about the weight, he was 285. And look at the glute lines. Look at the conditioning. I mean, look at the, 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 the hamstrings and the lower back, everything. He is super lean at 285. If he wanted to compete, how low, who, how low should he go? 275 to 70 that is ridiculous man i mean this guy grew so much this is this is insane you can see right here how big he is basically when you see that he is super shredded still and this this big 
and this weight 285 maybe he's even 290 at this point shredded at five foot freaking seven so yeah this is the freakiness that we're talking about when you talk about the open bodybuilding so i think he should do the Arnold classic why the hell not get those two hundred thousand dollars and beat brandon curry because it seems like he can do it yeah it seems like it i think he's bigger more complete freakier and he can bring better conditioning, more maturity, more graininess, you know, that, that, that granite look. He, he has that. He has that freak factor and everything. So I just really hate it that he's not doing the Arnold. I don't know how is he not tempted enough to actually change the decision. We'll see. He might. He might. I mean, he needs to die for like two weeks before he can step on stage. He's pretty much dialed in. It's ridiculous. This big and this shredded, crazy, crazy stuff, man. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like it. And for more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best and bye-bye.